Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Uh, before I begin things off again, I just wanted to show you something real quick. Uh, outside of Oso Castle in Salsa's chapter, there's this little thing right here I completely uh, overlooked. It's a doorknob. If you remember correctly, at the uh, beginning of Flint's chapter, chapter 1, that guy with the siren ran over to Flint's door and was knocking and banging and trying to get the door open, broke the doorknob off and just threw it away. It ended up here. So now we have it. What the? Hey! Don't pick up cheap doorknobbish things like that! But he throws it away. Into the moat. Come on, let's go! Quit dialing! Anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd show that off because I remember in the last episode, some guy's in jail because he just picked up a doorknob, so that doorknob is making its rounds. Alright, back to where we were. Alright, so here we are, back in uh, the new Tazmili village. We did some exploring last episode, and we'll do a little bit more exploring today. So if you notice, there's this guy over here. Ah, there, on the front. Wait, how much more should I give this guy? I don't want to give him any special voice. Hi there, I'm the Friendly Item Deposit Guy. If you have anything you don't need or don't want to carry around, I'll gladly hold on to it for you for free. Take great, I'll take great care of any items you give me. I'll return them to you immediately whenever you want them back. Can I hold something for you? So yeah, you can uh, deposit items with this guy. If your inventory is getting full, if you want so something to save for later, give it to this guy. But uh, let's not worry about that right now. I'm always traveling to one place or another, so if you ever need anything, just let me know anytime. Alright, good to know. Let's see what else there is. Hey, dude. The blue mobile has a... Uh, oh, man, I'm, I'm not doing the voice today. There's a blue mobile house over there. That interesting one that looks like it was made with whatever was handy at the time. Do you see it there? And do you see the guy next to it in the knit cap? Apparently you hold on to any items that are weighing you down. Oh, he's just telling me about the item guy. Da da da. Da da da. Okay. Nothing uh, useful or entertaining with him. Oh, what's in here? Bread roll. Let's uh, save that. You're going to want to hold on to healing items for now, because we're going to need them pretty soon. Sprinting bomb. All right. Hello. I hear there's a place along the traps where magic butterflies flutter to and fro. Ooh, magic butterflies. We haven't seen those for a while. Well, since Earthbound. <laughs> I've only heard rumors, but are you the ones who stock up on food and then walk away around without ever eating it? You really do need to eat, you know. You're still young. Okay. And that prison's already been opened. So yeah, this crossroads has been turned into a train station. Hmm? Oh, there's some townspeople. Come on now, Jackie, get real. I can't possibly, can't possibly be him. But just think about it. No one's ever seen hide nor hair of Duster since he disappeared three years ago. It's gotta be him. Come on now, that's nonsense. Oh, hey there, Lucas. Hmm, nah, it's nothing. There's this concert hall in the club Titty Boo past the factory. And the bass player there looks kinda like Duster. Jackie is convinced he's Duster. But it looks just like him. I really think we should tell old man Wes. Maybe if we knew for sure. But we'd only end up wind up disappointing Wes if it turns out we're wrong. The guy we saw just happens to look a lot like Duster. We don't know any more than that. Period. Anyways, time to head home and have some chow while I watch the happy box. I took the words right out of my mouth. I'm starving, too. Well, I'll see you, Lucas. Tell Flint I say hi. Hmm, so, Duster's been missing ever since they were washed away from uh, Club... from uh, Castle Oso. Oso Castle. You know what I mean. The train won't be coming for a while. Hmm, that's too bad. So, it seems Duster may have been found. Club Titty Boo. So let's keep that in mind. Hello. It's simply been far too much lightning lately. This lightning somehow doesn't seem natural. That said, I can't imagine there'd be such thing as artificial lightning. 
Nah, that'd be impossible. In order to read the sign, you had to trample on the flowers at your feet. Do you even realize that? Though the person who placed the sign here is really the one to blame. Oh wait, that's me. Sorry about that. Please throw away all your empty cans into the trash bin. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of uh, something in... Uh, oh, it's that Lunar, Lunar Silver Star story. There's a sign just like that. <laughs> And here's the sanctuary. I haven't been here for a while. Oh, a kid from the village. You're so nice and unsophisticated. Well, okay. Hmm. Anyways, if we go into the forest... Oh, music is different. And there are new enemies. Look at these things. So there are a whole bunch of enemies here, but we don't have any ability to make them turn around. Luckily, these enemies will be here for a while, so we don't need to get them at this chapter. But it's a good idea to uh, get some money and experience here. I'm not getting the rhythm of this at all. There we go. But there is something I do want to get in here. Maybe I uh, can get a back sprite of one of these. But first, let's uh, check out. Regular old mice run in the mill snakes and ordinary dragos. When you think about it, the forest sure was boring until three years ago. Yeah, remember somebody warning us about chimeras wandering around? Chimeras are mixtures of two or more animals and ooh, beef jerky. And I'm going to tell you right now, that's kind of going to be the theme of the enemies from now on. Mixtures of different animals just being weird. Good thing the hot spring is still here. Yeah, I'm willing to bet it has something to do with the pig mask army. You saw them experimenting on animals before, but they were using like machine parts on them. Now it seems like they're doing more uh, biological DNA stuff, I don't know. But still, there's more, something I want to get. Well then, I haven't gotten any levels up yet, but oh well. Let's see, what the heck are you? Ah. This is a really flying mouse. What's that? Kill this thing quick! There we go. Yeah, before uh, Lucas dies. Okay, um... Hopefully I won't run into any more of those things, because the thing I want, I believe... Up here. Don't attack that thing. Leave it alone for now. Just go behind it. The Pisces bracelet. Alright. We'll come back to that thing. There we go. So yeah, go ahead and pick up that thing, and uh, I'm just going to get out of here now. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, so uh, Lucas collapsed in that battle. As you can see, he's not looking good. Look at his status. He has zero HP. Can I just use an item on him? Oh, I need to sell those uh, oh, skulls. Um, I'm going to see if I can make it over to the... Uh, hot springs without getting into another battle. Okay, ah, uh, uh, no! Oh, jeez, that, that was that was almost very bad, but uh, you cannot sprint now. But luckily we made it to the hot springs. Yeah, this is why I'm going to need to do some grinding. And with this thing right here, it kind of makes it uh, very convenient. Alright, so yeah, it's not like uh, Earthbound or Mother 1 where uh, your t party member turns into a ghost. Well, either way, let's uh, go back for now. And do a little bit more exploration. So, Oso Castle is back up this way. What does that sign say? 
since the cemetery graves have never looked so scenic. No zombies allowed. So yeah, I think the zombies will never appear again. Well, I don't even think we can get here at night time again, so... Oh well. Hey, Nippolite, whoa, what happened to your house? Uh, Lucas, your old man's always visiting Hinawa's grave. Poor hmm. well, Mr. Nippolite, apparently lightning struck his house 14 times over the course of three years. The remnants of my humble abode, no tourists. <laughs> Jeez, what is with this lightning? It's crazy. Oh, Lucas. It's been a while now. You should go talk with your mom. Aw, hey mom. Rest in peace here for all time. What about her mother? Don't know what happened with her. Oh well. Yeah, it really drills it in that this is a very tragic thing that happened and it's still affecting everybody to this day. Anyways, um, I actually think it would be a good idea to go see Wes and tell him about the possibility that Duster has been found. Sad. Stop it. Quit ruining this town any more than you already have. There's something not right about all this lightning, especially two days. I think you guys are behind it somehow. Leave this instant. Keep your grubby hands out of this town's affairs. Why, hello there, Mr. West. You know, if you keep making the veins on your forehead pop out like that, happiness will only escape you. Which, by which I mean your hair in this case. In any case, I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Well, it's been fun. Please be careful not to trip, get hurt, or go bald on your way home. Face this violence. I'm no bug, I'm an old man. Jeez. Lucas, quit snooping around me. Don't get in my way. Wow, what is your problem with Lucas? Lucas, I really wish you would put a happy box in your home already. So you could be happy just like everyone else here. I'm always hoping for that day. With all this happy box nonsense, come on. Anyway, I actually want to go to the shop first. Nope, yeah, there we go. Alright, let's sell all these. Alright, oh, I actually should probably uh, get my money from the frog because. I, I kind of uh, f forgot before that uh, this works sort of like Earthbound, where you don't get money drops from monsters. Instead, the money goes straight into the ATM. So let's do some DP stuff. And let's just withdraw everything. Alright. Hopefully I can get some good stuff for uh, Lucas and Boney. If not, I'll uh, get it after I do my uh, grinding, because I can get some more money that way. Oh, we can uh, sell some other stuff too. Let's see. Um. Oh wait, no, I did. Never mind. I was thinking of something else. Uh, does Boney have anything? No. 
Okay, so. Let's get a kid shirt. Oh, wow, I can't really get much, can I? Luckily, I already got a Pisces bracelet for free. So we don't need that. Let's get a kid shirt. Equip that. And luckily, I love this, it gives you the option to right away sell the item that you just unequipped. And let's get a kid's hat. For you. And uh, for Boney as well. Alright, so let's... Luckily, we had just enough money. Uh, let's see. What's... There we go. Oh, that's because I need to uh, give the item to Boney. And then Boney can equip it. Alright. Alright, now let's go see Wes. First, I'm gonna get myself a bomb. And then. Oh, Lucas. I really embarrassed myself earlier. But curse that facade, treat me like a bug, like a stag beetle. What? A guy who looks just like Duster? Could that moron still be? Lucas, I'll now lower my voice and talk to you in a whisper. I hate to ask, but could you go and see if this lookalike really is my moron or not? Facade's cronies are on the lookout for me, so I can't go anywhere or do anything. Please, go find that moron for me. Do find Duster, send this pigeon to let me know. Cuckoo -coo. At long last, my time to be useful has come. Receive the carrier pigeon. Thanks, Lucas. I go myself, but everyone's on the lookout for me. Jeez, this place sucks so much. Alright, so let me show you uh, where to go to uh, get there. Oh, that stupid frog always blocks me. Alright, so... No matter how many times you talk to the conductor guy, he will always say a train will be a while from coming, so we have to go on foot. Wait, 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 wait! And it's Mr. T from the last game. But yeah, that'll there put that design back in. I don't know what reasons you got, but it looks like you want to go through the tunnel, right? I know you won't listen to me if I try and stop you, so here, I'll give you this instead. Got a railway map, alright. Do you know that the, what the most frightening things inside the tunnel are? Nope, they're not slither hens or mushrooms or anything like that. The answer is trains. Trains are the most dangerous things of all in there. So be very careful not to get hit by any. Good to know. Luckily, it is actually impossible to get hit by a train in there. Anyway, so it seems Duster has been found. But can we get to him and bring him back? Well, you're just going to have to find out next time on Let's Play Mother 3. Thank you for watching and have a good day.